What is going on everybody? I am Devin with Driver Motorsports. Welcome. If you're new here, um, if you're our frequent viewer, welcome back. Um, we have a very special video here today. As you can see, I've got a bunch of goodies right here. Um, our people over at Optrail uh, stepped up to the plate and gave us a few goodies. So the story behind this is I, a few weeks ago, got this thing called Wel Welder's Fever. If you don't know what that is, um, it's basically when you breathe in the wrong fumes and it gives you respiratory issues. Um, I was at home, I was welding on a diff, I was making a welded diff, um, and I did not properly clean it. I cleaned it with brake clean and I didn't let it dry long enough and then I welded on the gear oil and the solvents in the brake clean got me sick mixtured with the gear oil and the argon from the welder. Um, so. I took it serious then. I was on my butt for two days, feeling like death, looking like death, and I looked into it, and there's a lot of respiratory issues with welders. And I'm young, I just turned 22, and I don't want these problems to keep getting worse as I get older. I'd like to live as long as I can. Um, so I already had Optrail helmets, as you can see here, big supporters of them. I love their products. I love everything about them. Um, they're they're the best in the business, and I knew that I was going to get something from them. So before I bought something, I reached out to them and said, "Hey, I don't know if you guys are interested in doing a little uh, sponsorship. Um, if so, let me know. If not, I'm still going to buy something from you guys." Didn't hear anything from them, so I was like, "You know what? I'll just go ahead and buy a system." So I bought the. Uh, the Crystal 2.0 uh, welder helmet with the adapter on it to take the uh, E3000X respiratory system. And then right when I bought that system, they reached out and said that they were going to give us the Swiss Air with the uh, Panoramax uh, Crystal Black Edition. Uh, sorry, I'm, it's so many titles. Um, this is the Panoramax Black Crystal Edition and they gave us the Swiss Air. So the difference between the two is this one will feed into my helmet and have uh, air flow. This one is an actual mask that I will wear underneath the helmet. So huge thank you to Optrail USA. Um, you guys know who you are and I cannot thank you enough for looking out for my health. Um, let's go ahead and unbox these and I will show you specifications and why they are the best. So we're gonna dig into the Crystal 2.0 first. Um, like I said before, I have ran Optrail products for years now, actually, and I know that their packing is the best. They're super informative. Uh, first off, we've got a bag for the helmet to keep it safe. I'm gonna place that behind me. And then we have a secondary shield for the helmet. And then we've got the helmet itself. So. I'm used to the uh, panoramics. Uh, like I showed you guys, I bought two previously, and this is a little change up for me, but man, look at how beautiful that is. So they offer, they offer this hood in different options. Um, from my understanding, this is the top of the line, Crystal 2.0. Um, the Crystal 2.0 is actually the uh, lens itself. It is the top of the line. It has 31% light transmittance. Um, basically, it will show the exact color of what you're looking at. If you have worn helmets before, you know that when you look out of a welding helmet, it's normally green. This, you see all your colors. Like it, it's, I cannot explain the difference. Maybe I'll see if I can stick a camera in here and I will show you. Um, but the weld puddle is so much clearer in these. The light transmittance is so much clearer. And another cute, cool feature is these have like an auto shade. So you can set your shade range for, I think it's like four shades. And the closer you get to the puddle, the darker it gets, the, the farther away you get, the lighter it gets. If you know, if you're a welder, um, some helmets, when you get too far away, it'll cut out. These, I can look at somebody across the shop and it's gonna automatically dim. This has the best sensors. I think it has like about five sensors in it and top of the line. So right off the bat, this is different. I'll show you one of my old helmets. This is the one I've been using. Um, 
Off the bat, you can see it's got the air hookup and it also has like shielding to keep the air inside, which is insane. I love that. And this has the uh, older style hood. I hope I can adapt my newer ISO fit. I bought an ISO fit for it, which is right here. I will show you guys that. Um, but man, this is awesome. We're gonna have to do a video and show them, Cody, yeah. like how it all works and oh, yeah. welding with it. I cannot wait. I'm like so jumpy. I'm lost for words. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. This this uh, model has exterior uh, knobs and adjustments. So so cool. Just the fit and finish. It's so nice. It's so nice. Look at that. There's explaining the shade. So cool. So cool. Yeah, like I said before, I this was my second helmet that I bought from them. This was my original one. I've probably had this one for about four years now. Um, it's been through hell and back. Excuse my French. Um, but I started off in stock cars, and when I was using the older style helmets, my I would get home and my eyes would be fatigued. And I was like, again, thinking of my health, I need to get ahead of this, and I want my eyesight when I'm older. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the best of the best. I bought up trail. I looked at them. That was four years ago. And that helmet still works to this day. Um, but they came out with a 2.0 uh, lens, and I was like, I got to have that. So here we are. But this is this helmet, the Crystal 2.0. It also comes with booklets and pamphlets on how to use it. It comes with a cleaning little mitt there. And it, I mean, it, look, at the, look at the pictures. I mean, it's just, it's nice. It's nice. You get a three year warranty. Um, I mean, best of the best here. So, what we got next is the ISOFIT headband. This one has the black knobs. They came with green, green, gray, or black. Right, so let's unbox this. I was just telling Daniel, these look like Spider-Man is gripping on my head. I mean, look at it. It's like a skull cap. These things are so nice. The thing I love about them is, um, most of the time you've gotta like actually twist these to get them to lock up. Well, excuse me. Most of the time you have to twist them to get them to undo, but all you gotta do is pop it and it stretches. So nice. There's the ISO fit. There's instructions. And there's some little clips. So I'm gonna package all this back up. Um, but this is the best feeling headset that I've ever felt. And I've worn a, quite a few helmets in my lifetime. And this is the E3000X uh, air system. So let's go ahead and unbox that. Right off the box, we have the tube. This will snap into the helmet and snap into the machine itself. This is the HEPA filter that will go into the cartridge slot in the machine. Uh, it filters out 99.8% of all the toxins. This is the actual machine. So it is a belt type. And these also came with shoulder straps. I opted not to get that. Um, we will see, I might add it on in the future. So if you look here, here's the controls. You've got your power on and you've got your fan speeds. Um, cool thing is it tells you all your battery levels and um, I think it has three fan speeds. So we will test this out, but this is just the unboxing for now. And this one also has a spark proof shield as well internally. This is a parking buddy. Oh, that's cool. Let's unbox this little guy. Look at that guy. So this will strap onto the leather strap here for the uh, belt and you can pop your helmet right in there. Pretty cool, pretty neat. Here's the all the instructions. 
This is the battery pack. So we'll charge this up before we use it. And then we've got one other thing. It says open here, so I'm gonna open it. This is the charger and the charging station. Cool, cool beans. Yeah, man, that's the uh, E3000X. Super cool. I'm so excited to try this out. I've had it in a box for like three days now and it's been bugging me. I'm so stoked with this. So one last thing for the E3000 is I got the Mountain Breeze uh, scented uh, HEPA filter. So no clue what it smells like, but we're about to find out. And, and honestly, it might not even have a smell. It's supposed to have a, just a cleaner scent. So, oops. Oh, there she is. Quick and easy. That's nice. It's in plastic. <laughs> we'll try it out. We'll try it out. So just like with the Crystal 2.0, we're gonna go ahead and unbox the helmet first. I'm gonna set the Swiss Air uh, to the side and let's go ahead and open up the panoramics. Oh, look at that beauty. Looky there. That is so nice. They stuffed in a little extra lens there. And it also came with a lens for the uh, shade itself. Look at this box. Look at that. Look, look, look right in there. See that window? So nice. It's so cool. Their packaging is always so good. All right, so a few more things. Again, another bag. And we got some paperwork again. So as you see here, we got a charger for the helmet itself, and then we got a nose piece. I will explain what the nose piece is for here in a second, um, but this is all your paperwork, and this is all your little accessories for the helmet itself. There's the front shield. So this helmet comes black and it also comes silver. As you see before, this is the clear panoramics as well, but it's silver. So that's the only difference. Um, they're the same other than the color and there's another bag, so we'll set that to the side. Um, but let's go over a few filters, uh, I'm sorry, a few features with this one. So this one comes already with the ISOFIT headgear. Uh, like I said, best feeling headgear ever. So as you see, this one does not have the E3000X adapter. This one is gonna be for the Swiss Air and I will show you why this one will work. But um, a cool feature about this one is it will rest right on your nose. You don't want it to be sitting on your nose, but it's gonna be about on your nose. This one has an amazing field of view, as you can see. Just look at how much that spans and then look at this one in comparison. So if I'm doing a roll cage or if I'm doing something that I need to go all the way around a bar, or I need to see the bigger picture, I'm gonna be using this one. If I'm doing technical um, tight welding, I'm gonna be using this one. So, this one has the same uh, 2.0 lens. It's the clear lens. Uh, again, 31% light transmission. Um, the best of the best, like I keep saying. Uh, this one, however, only has the grind button on the outside, and it has all of the controls on the inside. I don't know if can... So, just a few little creature comforts in this one. Um, I am a huge fan of the panoramics. This is my first uh, one of Optrell's different models. So I'm interested to see how this one fits. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Let's go ahead and open the Swiss Air. All right, so we got the Swiss Air. Let's see what it contains. Holy moly. Just look at that. That's <laughs> cool. This is awesome. Cause it's a little backpack. It's 
go ahead and open this thing. There she is. So I'm gonna turn it to me briefly. We'll get all this out. This is the back piece. This is the actual filter cartridge and battery pack. This one is a shoulder strap style. So let me set that so you guys can see it. Up next, we got something in this hard case. I'm just gonna set it aside. Let's get everything out of this bag. It looks like another spark shield, um, a few accessories, your instruction manual, and there's some things in these side pockets. We have a box and charger. And then one more thing on this side box. We have what looks like the battery. So I'm gonna set this bag aside. It's awesome it comes with its own bag. I was thinking of something to store all this stuff in so it doesn't get dusty. Um, so we have the battery. Looks like it clips right in there. Pretty self-explanatory. We've got the charger for the battery. Um, let's see what's in this hard case. Ah, it's the mask itself. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take this out. Wow. That is awesome. That is awesome. I'm so excited to try all this. It's got paperwork in it and how to use it. We will be going over all that shortly. Get that to the side. Um, our instruction manual. Let's see what's in this box. We have some clips and a charging brick. And then some more paperwork. This is the particle filter. This is the actual filter used for the machine. Um, both of these systems filter out 99.8% of all contaminations in the air due to welding. Um, that's argon, that's any kind of stainless steel properties, that's anything that you're welding has contaminations in it and it has properties that is harmful to you. So this will filter out 99.8% of all of that and it looks like it. While I'm waiting on the batteries to charge for these uh, packs, most importantly, make sure you charge those batteries because like any kind of electronics, if you charge them halfway or partially and then use them, you're, jam you're damaging the life of the battery. So while we're waiting on those to fully charge, let's go ahead and install the filters. And super simple, what you'll do is you'll take the spark filter, you will pop that down in there like so. That will just protect this felt or filter material from being damaged. Pop the filter down in there like so and then you will just slide that up Up and on. perfect it's beautiful all right put the filter in the e3000x Fuck, I can't do that. so let's go ahead and uh i guess we can try out a little bit why not right let's get you suited up okay it's a new day. I got the batteries all charged up for both uh, breathing systems. And I also charged the battery in the panoramics. Those you need to charge. Uh, the Crystal 2.0, you do not have to charge. It comes pre-charged. Um, so what we're gonna use first is the E3000X and the Crystal 2.0 on this coilover project. So I have done, if I had to guess over a hundred of these coilovers, um, what they are is it is a Y chassis, a Nissan Y chassis uh, front knuckle. And they typically come pre-made from the factory with the strut uh, built into it. And when you wanna go coilover, you have to cut that strut off, clean it up, and then the coilover company sends you a shock body. So you clean it up, get it all ready, pop it down in there, and then weld around that. So I will show you guys how this stuff functions, what I like about it, and what it looks like.
is awesome. You like it? Yeah. How good can you hear me? I can hear you pretty good. Good. I mean, like, it's very comfortable. I... First impressions, it feels like you got AC all around your face. Um, it's very comfortable. Looking at it, it might not look that comfortable, but the belt is in a good position. Like, the airflow is nice. You don't really notice the tube. Like, everything is really nice. The, the field of view is nice. And right now, I see every color. Like, it looks like I'm looking through black right now. So, this this is amazing. I love every, every bit of it. Um, this is really dirty metal, so this is where coming, uh, this is where this, um, system comes in handy because I'm not breathing in all the contaminations of, uh, this metal that's 25 years old and has been on the road for 100,000 miles. <coughs> um, yeah, let me pop this off and uh, I'll talk to you about it more. So when it comes to the E3000X, um, first impressions, I really enjoy it. It's not hard to use. It's not overbearing. It's not difficult to get around. It feels very comfortable. And I can now see why shoulder straps would be more comfortable. Um, if I was walking around and standing up constantly, that weight on my hip would kind of bother me, but it's not that heavy. So me personally, I don't need the shoulder harness, but they come with shoulder, or you can buy shoulder harnesses. Um, but that compared with the Crystal 2.0, this is a amazing system. I highly recommend it. And I've only used it once as you guys can see. Um, yeah, I mean, Cody, get in there. I mean, I had such a good puddle view, like it, it turned out amazing. And I'm, I'm honestly speechless at this point because I really thought that this was gonna have to be an adjustment for me, but I see myself getting used to this within the next 20 minutes. Like it's, it's very nice. All right, coming up next, we are gonna be reviewing the Swiss Air uh, system with the Panoramics, and we have a super special project. I'm gonna be welding some titanium for you guys, uh, which are gonna be some dump tubes for RB26. Um, so let's get to that. All right guys, so as you see, I've got it all the way on. It has a strap that covers my head fully. Let me go ahead and turn this on. So it's on the off mode right now. We'll flick it on the low. You'll see it kick on. That is your filter life right there. And this is your battery life. Um, if you want to turn it up, you just go up. If you want to turn it down, pretty self-explanatory. And then it sticks right there. So right off the bat, it's pretty comfortable. Um, it's a little difficult to get on. It's something that I'm going to have to get used to, but it is pretty comfortable it's not bad the only thing that i don't really care about it is when you put the helmet down especially these panoramics they sit right here and this will stick it up a little bit so i'm used to my other one it sits damn near on my nose sorry for my french um but it typically sits on my nose and i'm not used to that yet so that's something i have to get used to um other than that i really like it it's pretty comfortable got good airflow uh the shoulder straps are nice, so let's go ahead and weld up. All right guys, so that was the Swiss Air. Um, I really like it. I would not prefer it over the E3000X when I'm welding at this table, but the where I see that it would be the most useful 
is in a scenario where I'm laying on my back and I have to weld up a cage or I'm in tight quarters and I have to do a cage. Or what I really like about that system is you can flip your helmet up and still be breathing fresh air. That's what I like the most about it. And I also see it coming in handy when you need to paint something or when you just, you have fumes in the air and you don't wanna be wearing a helmet. So there's pros and cons to each. Really, I haven't found any other cons other than the Swiss Air is a little more uncomfortable to me. That's my personal reference, but I like it. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it for cages, like I said. I'm gonna be using it for close quarter uh, welding, like I said. And what I plan on doing for you guys is within the next month or two, we are going to do a break-in review. Basically saying what I like and don't like about each one after about a month or two months of use. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you guys have any other questions on the system, please feel free to comment below, uh, hit us up. And thank you guys so much for watching. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to be testing products like this. So keep it coming. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more content.